been never killed before. All right, before we have the children's story, I'd like the children to go around and collect the offering that the people over are going to give and put it in the place up here. So kids, if you go ahead and collect the offering. Tell us again what it is for. The offering, this is the children's offering. Uh, the children's offering, what is it going for? <laughs> what it goes for? It goes for children's materials, um, staff school, also. Um, I'll pull that out. As we get bigger and have more children, and the needs become more, then we're able to afford the materials that we need. Did I get that change? A lot of change there. It's good to see you. I've missed you, buddy. I'm glad you're back there. Is it? Was I accurate? Very good. Goodness. I'm going to tell you another story, and that's going to be about these two kids. It was a boy and a girl, and in their neighborhood, there was a, uh, a couple, they were actually brother and sister. They were probably in their late 60s. And the lady, she would be seen in the neighborhood. She'd come outside, she'd do all the shopping, she'd do the yard work. But her brother, you hardly ever saw. Uh, sometimes you could see him through the window, but he really didn't come outside a lot. So that caused the kids in the neighborhood to wonder just what was going on there and why didn't you see the guy coming out? And so sometimes they would actually uh, make fun of that guy and, and say bad names to him when he was behind the window looking out. And uh, one day when the sister was outside, one of the young ladies who she didn't make fun of, she just wanted to know why he didn't come outside. So she asked him, number one, who he was. And she goes, well, that's my brother. That's my baby brother. And uh, she asked him, well, how come he doesn't come outside? Because we think it's kind of weird that all he does is look out the window. And she goes, well, a long time ago, when we both were small, I was at home and I was supposed to babysit him. And she said, and my parents left and they were supposed to be gone for just a couple of hours. And I got distracted. When my friends came over and I went outside, I forgot that my baby brother was inside. And the house caught on fire. And when I came back, the house was on fire. I said I had to go in there and find him. And she did find him, but he got burned really bad. And they were able to save him, but that's why he didn't come outside. And so when she told the little girl that, she understood why he just looked out the window because all his life he got made fun of and people called him names and even as an old man the kids were still doing that to him and it made him feel bad and plus with the scars that he had he didn't want to scare the kids if he did come outside so the little girl went home and she thought about that she thought about that and she talked to her mommy about it and she said you know i've been thinking about this and i just i just feel that but that man should be able to come outside and not have to worry about you know, being made fun of or scaring people. Uh, but I don't know what to do. And my mother said, well, pray about it. Ask Jesus to see if he gives you any ideas and see what you can do to show your kindness uh, to 
to her. And so she gets up the next day, and it was summertime, so she didn't have to go to school. And she was still thinking about it. Because the woman, her uh, the, the sister, she was a very nice woman. And she thought, well, if she's nice, then you must be nice too. But he never talks to anybody, he doesn't come outside. So she asked her mother, she goes, well, can I make him some cookies and bring him to the house? And the mother said, yeah, that'd be a good idea. So they made the cookies. She took him to the house, and she was nervous because she'd never been to the door. She would only talk to the sister outside the house. So she goes up, she knocks on the door. The sister answers the door, and she says, well, I made cookies for you and your brother, and I was wanting to know if, if he likes them. She asked the little girl if she wanted to come inside. The little girl went inside, and the brother was in his bedroom and didn't come out. But he could hear his sister and the little girl talking. And so the sister got up and asked him, she made you some cookies, do you want to come out? Do you want to see him? He was kind of afraid because he didn't know what her reaction would be. And so about maybe four or five minutes went past. Have you ever had to wait for something for like four or five minutes? Was it a long time? Uh, it feels like forever until it happens. Well, the man decided to come out of his room. He didn't know what her reaction was going to be. And she didn't know what she was going to see when he came out of the room. And so she's praying that God would give her compassion and give her love. And he comes out of the room and she looked at him. And inside, it scared her a little bit. But you know what? Jesus gave her peace. And he sat down at the table and he tried one of her cookies. And he started to talk to her. And she realized that this was a really nice, friendly man. And every day that summer, she'd go to the house and either bring him cookies or just go over there and talk to him. And she became his friend. She started to tell the other kids in the neighborhood that, you know, he wasn't mean, uh, he wasn't spooky, he wasn't scary, but he was a really nice guy. And so one of her other friends wanted to meet him. And by the end of the summer, most of the kids were his friend, and he decided that it was okay to come out of his house, and that it was okay that the people wouldn't make fun of him. And if it wasn't for this one little girl who prayed to Jesus to do the right thing, this man's life would have just been staying inside his room. Do you think that'd be fun? So listen, as you continue to get old, and you've probably seen this and experienced this already. You're going to see and meet all kinds of different people, right? You'll see people in wheelchairs. You'll see people with scars. Uh, you'll see people that to you look normal. But God calls us not to judge, but God calls us to love, okay? And so when you meet people that are different from you, don't make assumptions and don't judge them. But see what God tells you to do and how to love them, okay? Yeah. All right, let's go back to